Doug Jones became the first Democratic senator from Alabama in two decades in a stunning result that brings the Republican majority down to just a single seat. Jones's victory marked the end of a highly unusual special election to fill the seat vacated by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Jones carried the day by rolling up strong margins among blacks 936 percent, younger voters 6,236 percent, and women 5,543 percent. Men went for more by 10 points 5,444 percent. His greatest areas of strength were working-class whites 3,267% for a 35-point margin, white men 3,365% and a 32-point margin, and white evangelicals 2,177%, 56-point margin. Fox News voter analysis final results while more won. Among white women by 22 points 3,860%, that is a sizable drop from the 83% of white women that voted for Mitt Romney in 2012, the last time there was an exit poll in Alabama. Jones was also able to keep the race somewhat close among college-educated whites, who went for more by 14 points, 5,642%. Allegations of UAL misconduct against Moore emerged on November 9 when it was reported that he had engaged in inappropriate relations with teenage girls while in his 30s. Moore denied the allegations throughout the campaign and called in to question the credibility of his accusers. But in the end, by a narrow margin, Alabama voters believed the women, by a 4,944 spread. Nearly two-thirds 64 percent said the allegations were important to their vote, and those voters went overwhelmingly for Jones. The allegations also played a role in determining who turned out. Among non-voters, nearly 6 in 10 57 percent said the allegations were important to their decision not to vote, and non-voters believed them at a 58 percent clip. National Republicans split in their response to Moore's candidacy. President Trump, who won Alabama by 28 points in 2016, endorsed Moore on December 4 and held a rally just over the border in Pensacola, FL on December 8. For two-thirds of voters 66 percent, however, Trump was not a factor to their vote. Alabama's senior senator, Richard Shelby, announced on December 9 that he cast a writing vote instead of voting for more. He wasn't alone 85 percent of Republicans voted for more, far fewer than the 98 percent of Democrats who went for Jones. And in this traditionally deep red state, independents went for the Democrat by a 5,542 margin. More than 19 voters 91% said the candidate's personal morality was important to their vote. A similar number 88% said which party controls Congress was important. Jones won those who said personal morality was very important to their vote by 16 points, 5,741%. On the other hand, Moore won those who said partisan control was very important to their vote, 5,741%. Aitenton, 79 percent said abortion was important to their vote. Moore won those who said abortion was very important to their vote by 30 points. A majority of Alabamans, 54 percent, believe abortion should be illegal, and they broke for more by an even wider 46-point margin, 7,226 percent. Although policy issues mostly took a back seat on the campaign trail, voters were most concerned about the economy and health care, followed by race relations and immigration. Healthcare voters 28 points and those who said race relations are the most important issue facing the country 55 points went for Jones by wide margins. More chalked up big wins among economy voters 16 points and immigration voters 73 points. Auburn may have won the most recent Iron Bowl, Alabama's hard lies with the tide. By a 4,719-point margin, more voters said they were fans of Alabama than Auburn. Jones scored a narrow two-point win among Auburn fans, while Moore had a wider six-point edge among Bama fans. Jones won those who aren't fans of either school, 6,039. The Fox News voter analysis is based on a survey conducted by Nork at the University of Chicago with Alabama registered voters. The poll featured interviews from a probability sample drawn from a registered voter list and interviews from a non-probability sample and includes both voters and non-voters for enhanced analytical purposes. The data collection was multimode landline, cell phone, and the sample was calibrated to be representative of the population of registered voters as well as to be consistent with the actual election results. Results among all those interviewed in the probability sample have a margin of sampling error of plus or minus 4.1 percentage points including the design effect.